Bonjour! Bonsoir! <laughs> Dear friends, welcome to Wine Style. Joe Papendik and I are enjoying a wonderful afternoon in the grove and now in the orchard. This orchard, we created it for you to be able to enjoy the fabulous Bachi courts. Look at that! We have Bachi at Raymond, and now I'm going to be the violent one. Look at that! <laughs> yeah, baby! Even though the French are not into Bachi, they're into Pétanque, we still know how to do it. Look at this, baby! <laughs> yes! Cheers, well done. Well, now I deserve a lecture. This was my way to get a lecture from Joe in the wonderful orchard that he's planted himself. And you're gonna realize we have two batchy courts, so you're gonna have an amazing time. And obviously, like us today, we enjoy an amazing glass of Raymond Chardonnay 2018, the famous Napa Valley, made by the irresistible Stephanie Putnam. So this is a lot of fun. So Joe, uh, give us an overview of this amazing orchard because what Joe has done is herb, vegetables, and here with a little bit of height for the shade to be able to enjoy a great batchy moment, the orchard that composes all the flavors that are in the wine. In the wine. Yes, this is uh, the ideal dessert throughout the summer months. We started off with cherries in the end of May, beginning of June, uh, a few of the apricots and the plums and the pluot were ripening. Now we're in the peak of summer and we have the final parts of the apricot. Double Delight Nectarine is not quite ready yet, uh, but it's a wonderful mm. uh, double flower. So you get this beautiful large pink flower yeah. and then a honey-like flavor on the nectarine. We have the Sun crest. Well, let's, let's go here, here first, Joe. Okay, I yeah, mean, yeah, look yeah. at that. We yeah. just reach. I won, so I'd better try. <laughs> I won my way in. Mmm. Mmm. There's nothing better than a tree ripened apricot. There's so much flavor. The texture's right. Yeah. You get a little bit of, there's more sweetness than more juice. Mm. And it's just so lively. It's hard to describe what the actual, um, I just want to say apricot, which is yeah. what an apricot should taste like. And what would you do as a dessert with that? With this, I would feature it with a, uh, a mild cheese, a mild hard cheese. Mm. Uh, Manchego comes to mind, but I prefer to find maybe a French comparative, yeah. a, a softer, mild cheese. Great idea. Uh, yeah. Just with that, and then a, a glass of uh, still a, a fairly acidic wine would go well with that pairing. The cheese would add the creaminess and it would be a nice, well-balanced way yeah. to a light summer evening. You don't want something too heavy, too sweet. So That's this right. So would highlight the fruit, highlight the wine, and then of course a little bit of cheese with it to bring everything together. And maybe it's just fromage blanc, you know, simple. Simple, yes. As a, uh, a fresh cheese or goat cheese, fresh would be very nice with the little chives and herbs on it. I yes. mean, it would be delightful. Yes. I mean, look at that. This is a gorgeous tree. And I love how Joe shaped it, as you see, friends. We are now in the shade. We're going to pick up the bowl of victory, of course, and then we're going to go back on the court. So it's fun. You come here, you have a glass of wine, and then I'm a big fan personally of those. Nectarines. So Joe, tell us about those nectarines. Look at that, dear friends. The double Look. delight nectarine, both on the flower and in the oh. flavor. Uh, just to me, this is honey, mm. sweetness, uh, a beautiful fruit. Uh, they don't last long on the tree, this is one that the minute they get ripe, we have to pick them all, quickly make into a puree, into a sorbet, yeah. or even for a fruit cobbler or a fruit pie. Eating fresh is also a real highlight. I'm a huge fan of it. Mm -hmm. Same, how would you pair it with this? Pair it with the Chardonnay. Ah, see how the Chardonnay. They're because amazing the, together. They are, I was gonna say they can, they can be a little too sweet so it can compete with the, the Chardonnay, um, but yeah, they are, they are delicious. It's summertime, it's wonderful. Mm. So now, we're gonna show you, if you come closer, 
Now, nothing better than a gorgeous peach. Yes. Look at this. The birds have been enjoying a few of them, so we know that they are ready. Uh, right, well, a few. I think it's so great Smart. that they do. So they give us an indication of when things are ready. Yes. The birds are not here to harm. They're here to enjoy Mother Nature as we do. Mm -hmm. And when they go for it, that means we should. Definitely. Mmm. Oh. So this is a strawberry free peach, a white peach. My favorite of all. Free because when you bite through it, the, the pit, the stone will break often. So it's easy to be able to cut if you're baking with it or eating with it. Other peaches are called a cling, where the fruit clings to the, the stone and that makes it a little bit harder. This is being free when it's ripe, it just pops right off. Very easy to cook with, uh, but eating, I like these fresh and this is uh, just such a wow. delicious, uh, full of flavor, uh, wonderful, white peach and a few have fallen which is great so now we can obviously grab them what would you I mean I'm a huge fan obviously of putting them in salads mm, definitely because it's so great with a little bit of our olive oil from Oakville grocery that we make or the Wapo Hill olive oil it's and pretty amazing the balsamic vinegar. Mm. you grill them a little bit slice them open that olive oil grill them a little bit of a smoky flavor, yeah. add them to a pizza with the burrata and the olive oil, mm. or also just as a grilled uh, stone fruit salad with a few of the arugula or a spicy green to go with it to contrast the, mm. the flavor and a few almonds, delicious. And you have a whole summer meal there. That's it. And that goes great with a glass of Chardonnay. From Mother Nature. And that goes indeed, because there is a little white peach in the Chardonnay as well. Mm. It's actually helping the Chardonnay to be even more flavorful. Mm -hmm. So one and the other are helping. Complimenting. But then now we have another kind of peach, dear friends. So always allow yourself to have multiple diverse type of fruit because they're all different and unique and they all contribute like wine to a different part of, and of the evening. they also ripen throughout different times. These are very green still. This is another month before they'll be ready. And this is part of the idea behind this orchard was to have it phased through the entire summer, month by month, a different variety and a different um, yeah. moment to be able to enjoy, not have too much fruit at once and have to just process, but to be able to eat fresh throughout, mm. the, throughout the year. Um, and these need a little bit longer. Oh, how does it taste? What do you think? It's tasting great though. Yeah. You know, I'm always impatient so good it is. And I mean, the flavor profile is so phenomenal. And you see where it's going, and I love it because it's a very different flavor profile than this one. Definitely, and even when it comes to uh, making wine, we're always out there in the vineyard and you're tasting as the grapes evolve and change, and what does it become? When is it ripening? And what is that moment of, of action? When do you take the time to, to harvest and pick? And when is it gonna be in its peak? And you have to have the sample beforehand. It's and this one is the Suncrest sun Peach. Crest. So give us the history of that one. So the Suncrest peach is almost extinct now in California. There's only a few growers who are growing it. It was very common in the 40s and 50s. Uh, the tree has some faults. Um, its branches break, it's too heavy, it doesn't ship well, it bruises, and you can't necessarily have it for a, a supermarket because if you're gonna ship it and it bruises, by the time it gets to the store, it's falling apart. But as a true old timey flavor of what is a wow. juicy, juicy peach, you sit out here in the orchard, and eat this and you're just running down with juice and it's a divine moment uh, that you can't have anymore with the goal to have supermarket quality where it goes, it's still hard in the supermarket, it ripens a week later. This is something that has to ripen on the tree and it's really a treat to what is what we've lost unfortunately with flavors because we've been growing things for transport and not for consumption off the tree. Or That's as right. Had intended. Which is so exciting dear friends, you realize we are in the world of dessert. We enjoying the batchy. We've had beautiful apricot. We've had double delight nectarine. We've had the strawberry free white peach and the sun crest. Wow. So four out of 12 magical trees. We have as well the pomegranate. Yes, we have two pomegranates, a white pomegranate, which is convenient because it doesn't stain when you are opening up and putting on a salad. Yeah. Of course, the wonderful is the name of the variety, the wonderful red pomegranate. And then we also have burgundy plum behind yep. that. We have another gold rush peach, uh, which is a, a newer variety and one that's done very well, doesn't have uh, the disease of fire blight and curl. And then we also have 
apples. We have the Caval Blanc. Uh, yes. French apple. Yes. Over there. Gorgeous and tree. The Pippin, the Gold Cox Pippin, which is a classic English uh, dessert apple. We did our research, and of course, before we came to Raymond, the famous fig tree that many of you enjoy with a fantastic, you know, uh, cheese platter that we serve, or the marmalades, or you have it with uh, your cheeses. So it's quite amazing. We're having a lot of fun. As you can see, we're going to continue Batchy. I know Joe wants to take his revenge. Before you know it, I'll be on my knees and losing. But I think he actually let me win that first round. But Joe, great to be together. Congratulations for, um, yeah, you want to get your glass. We got to do a toast. This great Chardonnay from Raymond Vineyards fabulously barrel fermented by obviously our wonderful Stephanie Putnam. We've had so much fun here at Raymond and it's so nice to be able to engage you in this incredible orchard. So when you come to Raymond, don't be shy, take your glass, play batchy as we do because that's what we're doing this afternoon and have a great glass of wine, maybe a little cheese. You pick a fruit, you're welcome to do so, they're here for you and have a dream, the Napa Valley lifestyle.